I live in southeastern North Carolina, and I have a friend who lives out in the rural parts named Candace. She's got a hobby farm. Candace is uh, she's a lot of fun. She's into guns and big trucks, and uh, she's got animals like miniature pigs, goats, chickens, cats, you name it. So. I thought I'd share some of what Candace has to offer. So check it out and tell me what you think. So tell me about your spread, Candace. Um, it's pretty much just a hobby farm. A little bit of pocket change from the, the pigs. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's mostly just for fun. I how, love all my animals. How big is it? Uh, we got 42 acres. That's a we lot. We are way that way. 42 yeah. acres and a mule. Yeah. How'd you get into this kind of lifestyle? Um, always been into it. My grandparents had a dairy farm, so. Oh, where are you from? Australia. Ah. Uh, I figured Michigan with the dialect. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Proud bogan. A bogan is kind of like um, the Australian version of a redneck. Country person, you know. Gotcha. Nice truck. This is my baby. Her name is Big Dirty Whore, but <laughs> most of the time we just call her Big Dirty. Um, she's a 04 F250 Lariat um, power stroke, she's got 10 inch lift on 38s and Rockstars. Um, she's about to go into the shop. She needs all new injectors and um, she's got an EGR block, but we're going to do a full delete. So when she gets out of the shop, we're going to do another video and um, show you guys some more about the truck. But um, you guys are going to wait for that in the next video. Great. How long have you had this one? God, like two months, is it now? Maybe. Hey, Piggy. <laughs> How you doing, Piggy? This cupcake. Cupcake. Cupcake with the... Nipped ear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we like them weird around here, hey? So this is the one that lives in the house, huh? Yes. This is Cupcake. She's a superstar. Everywhere I go, if I don't have her, everyone's like, where's Cupcake? Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. She's a beauty. Pretty kitty. That's Mango. She's another recard. She's got a limp. <laughs> <laughs> And you're going to keep the girl, huh? I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the gray girl or one of the pink girls out there. So I'm just going to see which one steals my heart. <laughs> what? Yeah, he seems to have a real weight issue. Hey, fatty. <laughs> hey. So I'm on a diet. I'm a fatty. That's why my name's Sumo. Know any good pig jokes? No. <laughs> I actually didn't look them up. Oh, sumo, of course. Big fatty. Oh, who's a big fatty? Yes, come on. Come on, boys. Pigs will be pigs. Yeah. She is a little piggy, huh? Yeah, she's about a year and a half too, so she's gonna stay small. Okay, I'll find. Screw you. <laughs> oh, 
This is my baby. Well, they're going to be so much more cooperative, you know, like these guys are super friendly anyway. They're my babies, but they're going to be a lot more friendly if they're being fed. Yeah. Okay. But it's a little bit. Yeah. And I could never bring myself to eat one of those two because I love them. <laughs> Hey, go to goats. What kind of goats are these, Candace? Uh, we got the two pygmies, they're brothers, it's Oreo and Cookie. And then we got Buck, he is a, a young bow goat. Uh, what do they call it? Polydactyl. Hmm. Where she's got like two sets of feet on each front foot. Really? So we call her mittens because it looks like little Mickey Mouse hands. She's got like a regular paw and then a little miniature paw sitting off the side. So yeah. you're going to sell your piglets, huh? Yeah, I want to get twin stacks on my truck, so... <laughs> <laughs> I've actually... The guy who's doing them... Um, I'm doing a calendar for his diesel shop. So that's... My payment for that is going to be the install for free on my stacks. Nice. So I need to sell these babies so I can buy my stacks, so... This is Susie and her babies. They're about... Four or five days old now, I think. So eight babies. Look at that. Yeah. That's a lot of babies. Oh yeah, I'm surprised they all survived. But she's got five pink ones and three black and white ones. Wow. Good girl. She's being a good mama. You got a little heat light going in there too. Huh? Yeah. Nice. Because it's not always this warm. <laughs> Today's like a freak day being so warm. So do you worry about predators with these little guys? Um, a little bit, but we have ways of taking care of that. We have coyotes and stuff like that. Any like coons we trap, but um, I can show you how we take care of the uh, coyotes if you want. Oh yeah, And please. it'll give me a chance to um, show off my other bikini because- oh, Okay, please do. The guys on my modeling profile were having a fight over rebel flag or American <laughs> flag. So we'll keep them all happy. Great. Well, show me. Hey, you got the cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the eggs. Hey, girl. You wouldn't know it, but it's actually winter, so they're not really laying that much, but pretty hot day, so anyway, there you go, girl. What you got here, Candace? Our old tobacco shed. Tobacco barn, whatever you want to call it. From back in the day, huh? Yeah. It's kind of falling down, but we love it. Have you been drying any tobacco? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> definitely not. I don't think I'd know the first thing about growing and drying tobacco, but anyway. Is it a big crop in Australia? Uh, honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> I know we don't chew tobacco. I've never seen anyone chew tobacco until I moved to America. And I have to say, I'm a big fan. <laughs> You're a big fan of tobacco. I do, I like it. <laughs> I have a little thing for dipping. 
Uh -huh. I don't know why. But... She's a rugged girl. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Candace. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Good to see you.